what up y'all and welcome back to another one today i'm doing a video well, that's locked bob it's locked i'm doing a video that y'all have requested for a very long time now this season we tried a lot of new chokes this season on a lot of different guns chokes that you guys recommended chokes that i've always wanted to try but I got to try about everything, and uh, I'll tell you what, I got some opinions. And y'all have wanted to hear my opinions about these chokes for a long time. Y'all want to know what I think's the best, and I respect that because I've put them to the test. So for a little Foul Friday, I thought it'd be a good idea to go over them, show you what we got, put my two cents on what worked best and what may not have, and why I think it did or didn't. So that's what today's Foul Friday video is all about. Nothing more than opinions, pretty much. No crazy hunting going on, or not killing anything. All about guns and equipment. The chokes. Y'all know I'm a full choke guy. But before we get into it, uh, you can tell where I'm at. Uh-huh. Yep, right up there. The pigeon traps. We're gonna check the pigeon traps. I need to check them before we go home and uh, review all the chokes. Oh, hey there, Frederick. What are you doing in there? Huh? What are you doing? No, Frederick, you can't go up on the roof, man. That would be dangerous. Ooh, well, we made it up here finally. Out of breath like usual. Do you guys think we'll have anything? I don't think we will. We have not had any luck. I caught two pigeons, what was it, a month ago? Nothing since. But, let's go. Anything, anything? Come on, come on, nothing. I knew it. See, there's pigeons even flying. What's going on here? Why aren't you producing? These traps up here last summer during the heat, they did awesome. Now they are not doing anything. Look, right here. There they are. Why aren't you coming in the traps, dude? Why aren't you walking in to my traps? Why not? They're not working very well yet here. I thought. I knew with the cold we'd be doing better, but we are not, in fact. Well, I'm back here at home, and man do I love pulling up to this. Oh, yes! Yes! The old lodge just got Wi-Fi ran to it yesterday, so all of you clients will have internet on your phones because one thing about these steel buildings, that steel building being the lodge, you do not get very good reception in them, and I mean not good at all. But we're in the back shed here. Check it out. I told y'all, I told you I was bringing the flower chair to the new house. Now I don't have like a studio set up like we did at home, but I mean, I don't, I think that looks pretty good myself. Good lighting, we're ready to go. You can take the boy out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the boy. But without further ado, let's get into why y'all are even here. So first off, uh, I think I'm gonna start with my opinions on this bad boy right here. This choke, this is uh, the Carlson Cremator. Uh, this is their long range. Now, if you go to the Carlson website to buy you a choke, um, you won't see full, uh, you won't see the name full choke. It's gonna say long range. And uh, like I said, I bought the mid and long range two pack, Cremator two pack that is, for my, for my Franke Affinity, what was it? Probably two and a half years ago, three years ago now. And it's always done me good. You guys have heard me preach about this full choke. Uh, I've killed a lot of birds with this choke here. And uh, I have nothing bad to say about this choke. I absolutely love this choke. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way in regards to you guys knowing that your boy loves this choke. Um, there's, if there's always been a choke that I could recommend to people, uh, it's that one right there. Now, the thing with mid and full range chokes, guys, if you're gonna be shooting birds, anything like I do, ducks, dove, pigeon, geese, small geese, big geese, snow geese, you, always, you guys always ask, Bobby, uh, what do you run? What setups do you run for snow geese since you're gonna be shooting higher most of the time? Guys, I leave my full choke in for dove, pigeon and snow geese and honkers and everything. I preach getting used to a full choke. You guys have always known that. Uh, but secondly, I'm gonna go to this bad boy right here. Uh, I bought this. This is the Pattern Master Code Black Goose. And let me tell you, it's a beautiful choke. It's got that copper bronzish finish. And let me tell you, this choke is 
tight. And I have been doing my darndest to find the restriction on this choke. So this is uh, the Code Black Goose Choke from Pattern Master, like I said. And I believe it's really tight. Now, what I mean by the restriction, I can't find the diameter of this thing. The Carlson, I can find it, uh, but I cannot find this. I don't know if it's like a, I'm guessing it's like a 0.67 something. I don't think it's a 0.66. I don't think it's that tight. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, if you guys know what the restriction is, uh, what the diameter of this choke is the code black pattern master drop a comment down below and let me know put that number down there i scoured the internet i looked at the package it usually will be printed on the choke and it's not i don't know if they're like trying to hide that information or or what but i believe it's really really tight so my opinions on this choke is just that i believe it's really really tight i've patterned it before and uh and I patterned it, what was that, a handful of months ago, we patterned it against the mid-range true lock choke. That's what it was with number two. And uh, it was really, really tight. So I don't know if it's like too tight for me, uh, but I can tell you that when I connected with a bird, he, he did. But it's so tight, in fact, that you really need to be comfortable with your shooting and your ranges because that pattern is a lot tighter now. Like I say, when you connect with a bird, you're gonna connect with it really well. But just to forewarn you, they are tight. They are for the, uh, the experienced shooter. And if you guys want to eventually uh, just be using that tight of a choke all the time, get it, learn it, don't take it out. Just learn the choke that you have in your gun. My third and final choke that I tried this year and I absolutely loved. And it's not because you guys recommended it. This is the Kix High Flyer Full. And I had never tried one before. And you guys remember the video, uh, two videos actually, where I asked you guys to comment. What, what choke do you guys want me to use? What full choke? And this Kix High Flyer Full was beyond the most requested. And I see why. I completely see why. This choke, um, I have done some damage with. I put it in, uh, and I never took it out. <laughs> I, I wanted to use it, you know what I mean? There was a lot of times where the snow goose hunts, you know, this is the only gun that I have the tube on for snow goose hunting. I don't have a tube for any of my other guns, and I still wanted to shoot this gun because of this choke. The Kicks High Flyer Full, this is another choke just like my Carlson, I would recommend to anybody. It seems to be just that perfect pattern to where at 20 yards to 45 yards, you're gonna get it done. Now, what's really accurate about my theories and my opinions here is uh, that I basically use the same ammunition all year long while using all three different chokes. Now, they are on different guns, but for the main part, I used all the same ammunition. So. I had a lot of the same effect, you know. Federal Blue Box number two and BB is what I used most of the season. And I used some number four shot, Blue Box, Speed Shock that is, back in teal season and then early duck. I like the number four for mallards, for teal. I love number four out of a full choke. You can really do some damage on them small birds. But not only, like I said, not only has this been one of the most requested videos, because y'all want my opinion, and I get it, you know what I mean? And, and another thing, I'm not out here to bash any brands. I will not do that. I, I don't believe in that, because honestly, a lot of these brands, there's not a lot of difference between each one of them. They've all pretty much got it figured out the same. And again, I'm not bashing on any brands, but do I think that some are a little better than others? Sure. Do I have reasons why? Yes. Have I field tested them enough and used them in the field, hunted them hard? Yes, y'all know I have. Y'all have been there and witnessed it. So, <clears throat> long story short, you cannot go wrong with that Carlson. You cannot go wrong with that Kicks and that Pattern Master. Tell you what, that Pattern Master, they're, they're, they are the real deal. They are a tight, tight choke. Again, if you guys can find the uh, inner diameter of that Pattern Master Code Black Goose, I want to know what the number is. I believe it's, if I had to guess, it's gonna be like 
0.75 maybe, 0.680, something like that. Let me know if you guys know. I know that there's a lot of shotgun enthusiasts out there that know a lot more than I do. So if you know, let us know down below in the comments. I appreciate you. Here, place, place right here. Come on, come on, get up there. Come on, good boy, sit. Oh, look at that good looking dog right there. Woohoo! Man, I'm telling you, old Freddy, he's a good boy. He's been such a good boy this season. He's having fun out here at the new house. We have so much land that this boy can just run. He gets to run and run and run, getting that exercise. Look at that build on him, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, look at them shoulders. Good looking, dude. If all of you were here last year about this time when we got Fred, uh, he had Parvo and he was not looking anything like that. He was a little six month old puppy, uh, seven month, six month old puppy that um that was on the struggle bus i mean crazy the difference but i want to thank you all for being here like i said today is just one of them little foul fridays that uh that we just get to sit down and talk and just shoot the bs you know what i mean nothing too serious on these foul fridays y'all but if you guys like the foul fridays you got to let me know down in the comments and if you want more of them give me some ideas what do you want me to cover we did chokes today i was thinking the next foul friday I'm going to cover my new theory on three and a half inch shells. That has been requested a lot. Y'all know that I used to preach no three and a half inch shells, three inch only. And now this year, I finally got a gun that'll shoot them and your boy's been loving them. So if you guys want to see that video next week, let me know. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads. And if you guys want to help support the channel, you know the spiel. Go down in the description. When you pick up something from Ducks Waterfowl, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. And I appreciate you for helping me out. YouTube just demonetized another video last night while, while I was in bed. I woke up to it. I was like, oh, good morning, YouTube. So thank you guys for helping me. But until next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost forgot. Almost forgot about everything you guys been sending to the new P.O. box. That's right, if you guys want to send any letters like these three gentlemen did, I'll put the P.O. box address down in the description below. It's actually always down there if you want to find it. If you guys want to send something, send anything. Just make sure it's legal, uh, it's not offensive, and it's safe, please. All right, so the first one is from Ethan Schweitzer. What's up, man? How you doing? I almost forgot to do this. I'm definitely gonna do this at the end of every Foul Friday, and I'll probably do it at the end of random videos here and there. Ethan Schweitzer. Oh, okay. That's what's up, that's what's up. All right, so Ethan, what's up, man? He's asking when the Ducks goose calls are gonna be back in stock, and the only thing I can tell you is I can't give you a, a verified date by no means, but I am in the works. Brad, me, Austin, Flair, all of us, we're in the works of designing new calls. Nice, nice new calls. So guys, I, we're out of stock right now. We're not gonna have them for a little bit, guys. But when the new calls are in stock, I will let y'all know. Believe you me. Here's the next one. This one is actually addressed, not to Bobby Kai, but uh, to Fred Guy. <laughs> This is Freddy's. Where are you at, Freddy? He's all, he's all the way in the house. Oh, uh, old Frederick. What, what did they do for you? What is this? Just wanted to drop a quick note to say thank you for your videos. Thank you, man. This is from Lucas Nogglemeyer. I'm sure I just butchered your last name. And he's got Loose Fireworks from South, or from Watertown, South Dakota. What's up, dude? <laughs> he said, who am I kidding? First off, he says, hey man, thanks for everything you've taught me and whatnot. But then he says, who am I kidding? I watch your videos to watch Fred. <laughs> thanks, man. He invites me up to South Dakota, North Dakota to do some hunting. Uh, he said, hopefully you will be able to continue to go on hunting trips. Although I would imagine that may be a challenge with the necessity of maintaining the lodge. So the whole new outfitters. Guys, I've had a lot of questions. And uh, a lot of people asking, hey, is YouTube gonna go to the side now? No, 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 YouTube will not slow down. This thing's gonna pick up, y'all. You better be ready for next season. We're gonna be hustling, we're gonna be bustling, we're gonna be busy, and a lot of new content with all the new clients and everything coming in. So, Lucas, thank y'all. Thank you, both of you so far, my goodness. 
I'm gonna have to read this to Fred here later. Here's a third and final one from Mason Gerties. I'm sure I butchered your last name as well. Looks like you're from Nebraska. Nebraska boy, old corn boy. Here, Bobby, you have awesome videos. I'm so happy for you that you got your own dream home. Thanks, man, I appreciate you. And without you guys, I wouldn't have this place. I appreciate you guys so much, man. Well, it looks like you're pretty young and he says he wants to come hunt, but it'll, little, but it'll be a little bit before he's able to. Mason, thanks for sending this. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and actually sit down and thoroughly read them. But guys, thank you so much for sending uh, these letters. This, this right here, this means a lot to me. Yes, they're just pieces of paper. Uh, a lot of you, you guys are like, Bob, who cares? But thank you three for sending them. If you guys wanna send stuff like this, I appreciate it so much. Like I said, I'll put the PO box down in the description below, y'all. But this Foul Friday was a little bit longer than normal. I'm glad y'all are here. I'm not gonna close the whole video out again. Peace.